Hello everyone, I am Narendra. In the last video, I have given some introductory to nanoscience and nanotechnology. In this video, I will give you some basic understanding of chemical bonding in nanotechnology. Understanding chemical bonding in nanoscience and nanotechnology is very important. The interaction between the atoms mainly determine the properties of the materials and therefore of understanding devices. Suppose if you take any nanoscale devices, the understanding of bonding between the atoms and the occupation of electrons within these atoms are crucial to determine the device performance. So the knowledge of chemical bonding in, the, in a device is essential for its functioning. In general, all types of positive interactions between particles represent bonds. Interactions between atoms, group of atoms, ions and molecules can vary widely with respect to their character and their strength. To differentiate, these interactions were divided into classes known as bond types. Here I will give, I will introduce the key classes of chemical bonds and discuss their importance in nanotechnology. Here I am discussing from strong bond type to weak bond type. So the first class of bond type is covalent bond, which is very strong bond than other type of bonds. A covalent bond is a chemical bond that involves the sharing of electron pairs between atoms. The stable balance of attractive and repulsive forces between atoms is formed when they share electrons. Covalent bonding is like a tug of war. Two atoms share their electrons, but each atom pulls those shared electrons towards itself. When the two atoms pull equally, it is called a nonpolar covalent bond. In the molecule H2, the hydrogen atoms share the two electrons via covalent bonding. Covalency is greatest between atoms of similar electronegativities. Thus, covalent bonding does not necessarily require that the two atoms be of the same elements, only that they be of comparable electronegativity. The best example of the covalent bond from nature is the water. Water is a covalent compound because the bond forms between two hydrogens and one oxygen are covalent in nature. So the sharing of electrons in atoms can be clearly understood from this animated image. So this is the covalent bond between the hydrogen and oxygen. So the next bond type is the metallic bond. A metallic bond is a mainly formed between positively charged atoms in which the free electrons are shared among the among a lattice of cations. In contrast, covalent bonds form between two discrete atoms. Metallic bonding is a main type of chemical bond that forms between metal atoms. At least one of the valency electrons of an atom participating in a metallic bond is not shared with a neighbor atom, nor it is lost to form an ion. Instead, the electrons form what may be termed as an electron C in which valence electrons are free to move from one atom to another. For example, graphene, an allotrope of carbon, exhibits two-dimensional metallic bonding. Metallic bonds are seen in pure metals and alloys and some metalloids. So you can see how electrons move between atoms in this uh, uh, animated image. So this is the metallic bond formation be between the atoms. So next bond type is a ionic bond. Ionic bonding is the complete transfer of valency electrons between atoms. It is a type of chemical bond that generates two oppositely charged ions. In ionic bonds, the metal losses electrons to become a positively charged cation whereas the non-metal accepts those electrons from uh, positively charged cation to become a negatively charged anion. Ionic bonds require an electron donor of any metal and an electron acceptor a non-metal. 
the charges on the anion and cation correspond to the number of electrons donates or re receives in ionic bonds the net charge of the compound must be zero the best example of the ionic bond is, is the salt that is sodium chloride where the sodium atoms donates electron and become positive and chlorine atoms receives electron and form negatively charged atom so if you mix salt in water the sodium and chlorine ions will be separated and form ions in the water so you can see how sodium and chlorine atoms make an ionic bonding with electrostatic attraction so the next bond type is the van der waals bonding van der waals bonding it is radially weaker electric forces that attract neutral molecules to one another it is relatively weaker in comparison to other bond types so first molecules of some materials although electrically neutral may be permanent electric dipoles because of fixed distortion in the distribution of electrical charge in the structure of some molecules one side of a molecule is always somewhat positive and the opposite side somewhat negative the tendency of such permanent dipoles to align with each other that results in a net attractive force so geckos some insects some spiders have hair like structures so on the pads of their feet that allow them to climb extremely smooth surfaces such as glass so these are mainly because of the weak van der waals forces so you can see how dipole attraction takes place between the two neutral uh, atoms as you can see clearly in the animated uh, image the two atoms are very far apart there is no interaction when they come together there is a weak van der waals bonding between them so these are bonds mainly come across during the discussion of nanoscience and nanotechnology and i hope uh, this will give you some uh, basics of chemical bonding and see you with the next discussion on another another topic of nanoscience and nanotechnology